You got some info about their sustainability and all that stuff, so we're gonna hit it hard real quick and hopefully end this soon. Yeah. So they do about sixty thousand barrels a year. That's quite a bit. That's a bit. They're actually the first craft beer craft brewery out in Utah too. Yeah. This dude did a lot of groundwork trying to get things approved. I'd so imagine that. So. I'd imagine that wasn't difficult. You know, Utah, real party state. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, with all these multiple wives and stuff, like... The canning is pretty cool, because apparently it's supposed to be... It's made lighter, so that... It's a lighter can, and the design of it is made so they don't have to have the ball that they have in nitros anymore. So yeah, the, nitro the nitrogen ball that releases when you pop open the can. Yep. So it saves on weight, which, in theory, will save on fuel when distribution happens, because there's a lot less weight being transported. Um... Less energy, because nitrogen weighs less than oxygen. Well, Learned that today. And, <laughs> and you're just cutting that ball out, so that's saving on material. So yeah, helping out the environment there. Going green. So around 85 percent. We'll, we'll we'll be we'll be generous. Around eighty five percent of all of their like beer cases and cartons is basically just recycled. Recycled, which is pretty cool. That's what and we do like, here. Their cans, like, it can't be penetrated by dangerous lights or something like yeah. that. Yeah. So you're not going to get a skunky beer. Which is can. actually a huge issue. There's a reason why you have, like, the green bottles, like, on Heineken and stuff like that, is because that tends to be a more skunkier beer, so it doesn't matter if light gets in. That's why glass bottles are generally tinted, tinted or brown, so that light can't get in and ruin the beer. Yep. All right, a little bit about this beer. It has a dark color. Mahogany is what it said. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty dark. It's, it's definitely a, a monogamous color. Say it. Say it. It's a monogamous color. <laughs> yeah. No, it's uh, definitely a mahogany color. Uh, it, it smells rich mahogany. It says it's supposed to be chocolatey and a cocoa smell. I smell that right. It smells like crap. Yeah? Like, there's no, no smell at all. Oh, wow. That I don't... That... I don't uh, like that. The nitro, it, did, it says pour hard. We did get the cascade. We finally learned how well, to pour a nitro out of a can. <laughs> you, I, well, we knew how to do that, but you got a good cascade. I didn't. Yeah, that's, and I still got like a nice frothy, foamy head on the top, and yours is already dissipating. Yeah, I don't know. It looks it's like there's a lot of carbonation on the side for some reason. Right, yours looks like it has no carbonation in it. So, right. very interesting. So we'll good. see. It's supposed to be a silky smooth mouthfeel, which is great. That's what I expect in a porter in a stout. Uh... Hops. Actually, hops. We'll, we'll go. Speaking of hops, that's like that. <laughs> that's like that time that you walked in on me when I was in the bathroom and I was just hopping around on the plunger pretending to be Tigger. <laughs> <laughs> this is that's a bad image. Anyway, <laughs> never get that out of my head. Yeah, <laughs> we'll go elf acids real quick. It is a what is it? It's a, like a. 20%. I don't know. This was your job. <laughs> <laughs> The, the Elf Acids of the first hop is a super Kalina 
hops is a oh super ga- super Galena. Galena hops is yeah. a twelve percent. Mm-hmm. Uh, fruity aromas, so it's just aroma. There's no other bittering agents for it. And then you got the women. We've talked about them as a four to six percent alpha acids. Uh, they got spiciness, floral notes, and fruity. So I don't smell any fruit in this. No, whatsoever. Um, actually, nice. kind of disappointed. By the way, we got this from my cousin. He walked into the liquor store and said, what's the worst beer you've ever sold out of here? Yeah, so they, <laughs> here gave, we go. they gave us this. And honestly, I've heard of this before, and I kind of went back into the deep thoughts of my brain, which is a scary place to be. And I was like, where do I know them from? Well, I saw this dude wearing a t-shirt from them with the polygamy on there. If I'm not mistaken, I thought that the tits were out on his t-shirt. <laughs> I don't quite remember. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you just had to get that out there. Huh? I don't know. Great uh, logo, though. Right? Yeah, the logo's pretty sweet. It I, definitely fits the name. More power to anyone that has multiple wives, man. Seriously, like, yeah, yeah I saw you. I, one I saw you start a fight with your wife last night, and I was like, God, can you imagine if someone had three of those? <laughs> <laughs> you had three different arguments about not feeding the kids. <laughs> All right, so the ABV is a six percent. Yeah. So it's a little bit heavier, but for a porter, I expect that. And then IBUs is thirty, which I don't know where these bitterings are come from with these hops. I tell you what, we visited a brewery earlier today, and what did we have? We had a couple IPAs, and the bitterness, the IBUs were like through the roof, like yeah. way above average. I would have expected something like this to be way higher because. Porters and stouts are generally way more higher. They're more bitter because of the chocolate. And that's that's probably where all the bitterness is coming from is chocolate and cocoa. Yeah, well, that might explain why it smells like swill. So we'll see how swill. it tastes. <laughs> it's swill. Yeah, swill, you know. Swill, all right, let's, let's swill Smith. <laughs> all righty. Cheers. Yeah, it's actually very bland. There's a bitterness on the back side of your tongue. It's plain. It's silky smooth. Like it's, <laughs> There's like nothing to it. It's not thick and it's not heavy. I don't know. Right? Yeah, I, I don't... Drinkability is there. Like, you can drink them. Oh, <laughs> yeah, absolutely. If you don't want flavor in your beer. Right. So... What are you giving this? One through ten. Dewey Decimal System. Four and a half. <laughs> four and a half? Yeah, I was going to give it a three, four. Three four because I just don't three think, or a four three point three point four <laughs> three four yeah put the two You're together thirty four to seven <laughs> so yeah I'm giving it a three point four uh, solid four I don't like it yeah, it's not a good one I don't like it I love the canning the people that we talked to on the phone were incredible they were really yeah they seemed really cool they guided, also. they guided us in the right direction it's cool they're the first brewery in Utah but this isn't up my this is not up my alley as far as the yeah and I like porters. And Stouts, and this is not me, so yeah. it's all I got on this one. Hit us up on our social media, YouTube, Off the Tap, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Off the Tap 2018 is our Instagram. Go ahead, follow us on there. All of our pictures, we're starting to upload all of our videos to IGTV, so you can watch them on there too, but we'd rather have you go to our YouTube channel. Facebook is just Off the Tap. Deadly share, share, there. share. We're doing a lot of live stuff lately, a lot of fun stuff, so make sure to follow us on there. This has been our beer review for the Wasatch Brewing. But I almost screwed that up. The Wasatch Bu- Brewing. Bru- Wasatch Brewing. <laughs> Good God, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Wasatch Brewing. Polygamy Corner. Corner? Yeah. Corner. <laughs> Wasatch Brewing. Polygamy Today he Nitro Porter. Right. <laughs> we got it. We got it. Anyway, Nitro Porter. You guys have a great evening. Take it night, easy. morning, whatever time it is. Whenever you're watching this. Cheers. Oh. I forgot to tap again. <laughs>